Hi, I'm Peter Spencer. This Bible Detective video will amaze you with never before seen scientific, archaeological, and biblical facts that when connected together like dots in a child's puzzle will paint a picture of our past history that is so vivid it will alter your view of our future. This is our quest to uncover Atlantis in the Bible. Could the memory of mankind with greater cerebral capacities be the reason that some South American tribes have for centuries placed wood on their infant skulls, causing the posterior skull to mold into an extreme oblong shape implying a great brain? Did ancients believe this cranial shape would reflect their brilliant godlike ancestors from the Atlantis era? Was King Tut revered as a descendant of the early earth gods due to his cranial shape? A close look at ancient art and cultures from South America to Egypt to China repeats this mysterious trait. Is it perhaps a memory of an intellectually advanced civilization years before? Not only would man experience miraculous healing and a life lasting centuries, but he would have lived in the perfect environment to grow to his maximum potential size. Fact. Scientists have been claiming for years that the heart of the great brontosaurus could not successfully pump enough blood from its tail all the way back to its brain and through its body in our current atmosphere. Nor could the pterodactyl even fly due to a body weight far too great for his wings to support in flight. Yet, here they are in all their enormous glory. The canopy with its double atmosphere, however, would have created a perfect environment for these brutes to thrive and to grow. Fact. Other irrefutable evidence of this canopy and the double atmosphere comes in the form of a simple hammer from the pre-flood era of Atlantis. Some believe Genesis 5 connects us to our next shocking dot of science, to a historical Atlantis era. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. We stand amazed at today's athletes who tower at seven feet tall. But can you imagine a human of normal proportions, twice the height of Shaquille O'Neal? Under the pre-flood Atlantis model, already proven to exist scientifically, archaeologically, and historically, these humans were real. Giants saturate the folklore and written history of virtually every continent on Earth. 